Flooding in the Metro East was so intense, multiple neighborhoods had to be evacuated in St. Clair County. Our Holden Kerwicki is live now in Caseyville with more on our team coverage of this record rainfall. Well, Mike, at one point today, it seemed like it was almost impossible to find a road through town that wasn't shut down due to the flooding and the amount of people who were forced from their homes. The good news here, the floodwaters behind me are starting to go down, but according to the people around town that I spoke with, they haven't seen floodwaters like this in around 30 years. The radio has been crazy all morning. What started as an early morning call for a water rescue. A lot of people are making mistakes trying to drive through the water. And so we got boat uh, rescues going on throughout the county. Quickly turned into an all hands on deck evacuation of roughly 40 dogs at the St. Clair County Animal Shelter. All the uh, puppies and the kitty cats are got a dry place for right now. The same can't be said for St. Clair County residents like Jason Hare. Everything just came across the tracks and this morning we were looking out our window and we had to evacuate It was because it was going so high. Here could only stand and watch as the flood water found its way under the railroad tracks and into his Caseyville home. I'm pretty concerned, you know, because I, I mean, I'm about to lose everything, you know, my house, all my kids clothes, everything. As the water continued pouring into town, volunteers quickly evacuated residents from a nearby retirement community. Uh, it's a sad, yeah, sad situation. If it gets up much higher, it may be hard to even evacuate them out. While wheeling residents through the water and shuttling them to a safe place, people like Mark Tyler are struggling to recall the last time they saw flooding like this. We've never had this much water around our lot. In the early 90s, I believe it was like 93, there, there was some spot floating all over the place. This is about as bad as I've seen it. There were multiple unconfirmed reports earlier today that a levee north of Caseyville may have breached. However, after speaking with St. Clair County Emergency Manager Herb Simmons, he told me it is common when they get a lot of rain like this for water to simply just wash over the top of that levee. Reporting live in Caseyville, Illinois, Holden Kerwicki, five on your side. Let's get